वेलकम वाइब्रेशन निरंतर टू टुडे सेशन विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड हाउ दे डू देयर बिजनेस एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ चैलेंजेस दे विल फेस एंड लेटर ऑन इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ डेटा पॉइंट्स विल हेल्प देम टू सॉल्व दोस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट्स सो द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हिच वी हैव चोजन इज एच यू एल इज अ सब्सिडरी ऑफ यूनिलिवर व्हिच इज अ ग्लोबल ग्लोबल कंग्लोमरेट एंड वील स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन विद how hul does conducts its business so uh tarantar if you can start the conversation then we will stir around my rash yeah uh, so uh, hindustan unilever is a company that works uh, under the sector of fmcg the fast mm-hmm. moving consumer goods so uh, lots of indian households have their products means uh, out of Ten, uh, at least nine have their pro- uh, at least one product in their house, and mm-hmm. uh, there are more than eighty lakh retail stores that sell their products. So, uh, and uh, also uh, over time they have they have acquired ve- uh, large brands that uh, exist uh, in India, such as Brook Bond, Lipton Tea, Ponds, Lakme, mm-hmm. uh, Quality Walls, etc. Correct. and uh, with these products they also have a large uh, contribution under the research and development section of this sector mm-hmm. so they uh, do the research and development themselves or uh, with the specialist people in individual sectors or businesses and uh, they spend at least a billion dollars uh, in their r&d section so okay. this r&d depends a lot uh, means largely upon the uh demand that market have and the sectors that they have not touched yet okay mahesh <coughs> as nirant said hl works under the fmcg uh, sector they have uh, majorly 100 plus brands in 20 categories they have divided the brand into the 20 categories <laughs> and uh, they have the distribute uh, 4500 distributors in all over india and they works in a 190 uh, plus countries to uh, export these products and also in india they have all around uh, 60 million uh, store outlets uh, in all part of the india mm-hmm. and sorry how many 60 million 60 million okay yeah great and they the target customers are the basically the uh, middle class peoples mm-hmm. from india from india okay yeah so now i guess uh, you have uh, got how much of business these guys are doing correct right maybe through annual reports or website or articles and uh, you guys also gotten correct exposure like what kind of uh, businesses they are doing they are doing an fmcg business the main crust of any business is earning revenue and earning profits from revenues right as we discuss and this company in itself comes under tangible asset product company where all these products that they make are tangible you can touch them and you can use them uh, in your daily life now the second part is product life cycle right in tangible businesses there are necessity and desires again so the, there are few products which are necessity in this particular company's portfolio something like let's say brook bond so chai is a very important part of everyone's life in our country so that's how the life cycle of brook bond is very short compared to let's say ax ax is a deodorant spray or a rexona's uh, roll on bar for your um, uh, fragrance purposes right so this is something is a luxury for indians right now it is not necessary so the product life cycle of that particular uh, uh, product is very long compared to this and in the similar lines uh, now we will think about what kind of maybe uh, revenue streams these guy will have right 
likely mayurish mentioned there are 20 categories and there are across those 20 categories there will be multiple brands which are allocated to them and those brands will have different sku's so what an sku means in industry so 20 category let's say they have uh, lastly i remember it's a uh, 48 plus 15 brands which are listed on their website that comes to 50 and uh, then it 60 and 63 brands total that they have listed there might be other brands also which are not listed on their website but i'll just quote the official figure on their website now these 63 brands have different different revenue streams so there might be a revenue contribution across these 63 products but there will be at least 20% of this so what is roughly 20% of 63 is that roughly how much 12 right 12. so 12 brands will pull up 80% of revenue of the organization this is basically called as a pareto principle where 20% of the pareto principle says that 20% of causes are affecting 80% of, of your output so in that sense if you look at it there will be 12 not exactly 12 but close to that number maybe 11 or 14 or something like that that are generating roughly 80% of the company's revenue that's how every company operate right for nestle uh, the biggest earner would be maggi right uh, for let's say maruti biggest earner are uh, eco eco car and then their uh, alto they are the biggest selling point for maruti and, and wagoner ye teen gaadiyon mein wo 80% dhanda nikal lete hai apna roughly jo unke top line models hai like siaz s cross or uh, maybe in the if you even if you distribute over there and here uh, a lot of their earnings are from 3 4 or maybe 5 cars at, at max and also then there are selected models which are getting sold out very fast compared to other models like the they have different zx i vx and lx i in the uh, maruti automotive and in nexa they will have alpha zeta beta something like that so always remember that there are always some things which are driving your revenue that's the first thing now next is the revenue streams here is majorly their selling in the market uh, when i read the annual report i did not find anything which is particularly let's say saying that they have earned money through this uh, it's largely about their selling through these 12 63 brands so whatever revenue these guys are earning is six, through this 63 brands and also they might have a small investment in a new upcoming brand or in r&d which will give them return right so they they operate in uh, their their revenue is coming from three parts i would not say third part is a very large contributor or i have seen on a balance sheet that it is not the earnings from the investment right it's not in revenue but it's like in fulfilling your own needs with your own money if you have cash sitting at on your own hand you won't just let that cash sit in bank right you will invest somewhere and you will earn return so that is one of source of income also for the organization now since we understand how company is earning money we will move to next part where we will discuss about what kind of challenges these guys will face so i'll just open up the conversation and you guys can tell me what kind of challenges these guys will have uh increase in operations cost due to increase in raw material cost okay so we will say raw cost and <coughs> pricing due to competitors pricing or due to competitor product pricing anything else 
uh, now during the pandemic uh, people were not leaving home so mm -hmm. lots of people started buying groceries and all from the online mode correct and under the online mode there are no restrictions for the local products to sell their own mm -hmm. so uh, that could impact their sales because the local products uh, if uh, they approach the retail stores the offline retail stores they will not uh, means take their product and sell because they have the branded products from uh, hindustan unilever but uh, uh, if they want to sell online they can sell there is no restriction on okay. that so yeah, local basically. product yeah okay. threat from a local products not a large threat but it could impact online aggregators threat got it distribution cost okay we will consider that under this uh, imitative imitating products when you say imitating product how, how you exactly mean means uh, developing a similar kind of product giving it a slightly different name and selling it means uh, in rural areas this happens a lot and so i'll say first copy that will be must more yeah relatable to everyone anything else uh the data large amount of data they generate they need storage IT infrastructure. Yeah, even if it is on cloud, they will need to buy the storage. Mm hmm. <coughs> Anything else you guys think of? Like, just think of it as your own business, na? Kyaar, my business hai, to mere ko aur kya problem aayega? Product quality. Okay. okay and product, product manufacturing life cycle manufacturing cycle sorry okay mm -hmm. okay uh what do you guys think of about their let's see distribution network supply chain management so what kind of problems they will face in distribution tum kuch socho ki tum agar ek company chala rahe ho and you are selling let's say ek roughly 1000 sku <coughs> so what would be the your biggest challenge Wa wastage and stolen goods correct so that's a basically inventory issue what yeah. mayurish just described it's an inventory show so it can be anything like wastage ho gaya ya maybe you are your inventory short on product so that your product are out of stock and there is still demand in the market but you are not able to fulfill it due to various reason and how inventory will be uh, correctly maintained what what kind of problem will help problem solution will help uh, inventory uh producing the products uh by means analyzing what is the demand in the market and Correct. then yeah maintaining the products according that is called demand planning so it's a biggest problem for any uh, tangible business because they have to predict the demand with any of their um, machine learning model there are many moving average models or others and then you have to manufacture them with that so i guess uh, we have largely cover uh, what kind of problems these guys will face so i guess this it for challenges for today so thank you for joining today and i'll soon meet you in the next session yes thank you Thank you. Thank you.